need lads, oh lads, to get the comforts of home, you're a nomad. We've lost so much since we first started, are our hearts cold or are we cold hearted? So pray to your lord or your foreman, that the sun might rise in the morning. They told us hell was warm, but our empire fell for shelter from the storm. Yes, I am in fact capable of criticizing General James Ironwood. But this is less criticism and more of an expression about how confusing his character is. Because I am actually incredibly curious as to what exactly the writers were going for when they created and wrote Volume 7. Because I don't... I genuinely cannot imagine we are actually supposed to side with Team Ruby because the writers make made Ironwood so nice and that it slips from being a trustworthy character kind of into idiocy. And this was made pretty clear since the second episode when he hands the relic back to Team Ruby. Sure, it was a massive show of trust, but wasn't the entire point of going to Atlas getting the relic to a completely secure location yet as soon as ironwood brings up amity arena it's like they've completely forgotten why they actually came to this kingdom in the first place is and well that just leads to it being stolen but you know i'm not going to only blame ironwood for that because team ruby basically everybody who knows what the relic is and didn't object to giving it back to team ruby was pretty much juggling the idiot ball between themselves when they decided to do that. And then there's also this scene. The mantle, a temporary provision of assembly is now discussed. There are to be no public gatherings of any kind. Please conduct your business and return to your homes before curfew. This is for your own safety. Hey! Stop right there! Run. Stop running! What? Where... F are we supposed to think that Ironwood is... I, this scene makes me very confused when I talk to people who say that Ironwood is some is a dictator, and besides all the massive amount of other evidence that he is not, there's also the fact that here after a grim attack, let me re let me say that again, after monsters attacked the entire city, he put a curfew for security reasons. And so many people were just comfortable ignoring it and like just casually ignoring it for no discernible reason. Kids, are you homeless? Do you not have homes? What are you doing? You two, what are you doing? There are monsters. There could be monsters in the alleys. Do, uh, do you just dislike the military so much that even the advice that's meant to save your life is not worth following it's things like this that make me confused because we're supposed to see ironwood as we're apparently supposed to see ironwood as a dictator who is going too far and not dictator once again as a paranoid general who is going too far in his quest for security but he's being so oddly accommodating about it that i'm just confused as to what the purpose of his character is and i do in fact have issue with him shooting oscar uh when he when he didn't kill watts i suppose the only explanation i can think is he was hoping ospin would reincarnate into a body he could actually start trying to gain a new relationship with but like yeah so those are basically my issues with general ironwood as a character I'm still on Team Ironwood, though. Can you open up? Ratchet, why is Zony's name just exploded? Sorry about that, Grim. Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. 